hummingbirds are out. Nice day in Southern California. Great day to make some scallion pancakes. Today we're going to make something special. It's from a family recipe. Uh, Chinese scallion pancakes. This one does not have the meat. It's meatless. This one has meat. Scallion pancakes. Now, these are extremely popular side dishes in China. But as popular as these are, a lot of people don't even know how to make them. So I'm going to show you our family recipe from Shandong province. Authentic Shandong scallion pancakes. When done properly, these should have multiple layers. Should have multiple layers. Like these. This is traditional scallion pancake without meat. This is with meat. Here are the ingredients for making Chinese scallion pancakes. First thing you need is uh, scallions or green onions. Here I got 10 bunches chopped up. These were bought yesterday from our local Korean market at a ridiculously low price of 10 bunches for 99 cents. And you need flour. I got right here unbleached bread flour, but you can use uh, all-purpose flour. When my mother used to make these, she always used uh, gold metal all-purpose flour, which turns out fine. But since I got this unbleached bread flour, I will use it. And for the oil, we use Crisco, which is a vegetable shortening. If you're a traditionalist, you will use uh, pork lard which uh, uh, of course uh, tastes really good if you use it, but probably not as healthy. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, you can use the lar from a Mexican market because I tried those before and they kind of lack flavor, I think. So the best is to uh, get fat from pork and render it yourself in a skillet and use the use the fat dripping and then let it congeal later and use it as uh, just like Crisco but here I, we use Crisco and of course you need salt I got coarse kosher salt here you can use any any just salt of course you need water to mix the flour and you use cold water not not hot water okay now for the meat lover, now these are the things for the ingredients for traditional scallion pancakes. But I added a twist of my own for the meat lover. You can use, uh, put some meat in it, which I will demonstrate. I will use, I will make both the traditional and the uh, meat type of uh, scallion pancake. Here's a pound and a half of uh, ground pork. You need soy sauce, white pepper, and sesame oil. White pepper and sesame oil and ground pork. I'll probably use about one pound of that. This is a pound and a half right here. This is a five pound bag of flour. I'll probably use about four, four pounds of it. I'm going to make a lot because I'm going to freeze them. Salt, Crisco, shortening and chopped green onions. Okay, I got four pounds of uh, unbleached bread flour here. Add a pinch of salt. 
pinch of salt. Okay, and mix with uh, cold water. Cold water, not hot water. How you make the dough. Okay, so you uh, need it. Consistencies, well, like that. No. You can make it softer or make it harder by more water or flour. This is about right. Okay, it's almost finished kneading here. So, now it's still pretty rough, so put it in here. Cover with a wet paper towel so it doesn't get dried up and let it sit for at least 30 minutes. You'll become smooth. You'll become more homogenized. Okay, here's the meat, ground pork. And then I'm going to add about two tablespoonful of maybe three tablespoonful of soy sauce and some white pepper and some sesame oil maybe a tablespoon of a mix so this is about one pound of uh, ground pork I'm mixing mixing the maybe a little bit more of a soy sauce Okay, it's been sitting for about uh, 20 minutes and I'm kneading it again. So as you can see, it's much smoother now. So after kneading it for about a couple of minutes, it's all smooth now. I'm gonna let it sit a little bit more. Let it sit for another 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's been another 20 minutes, so I'm gonna take it out and knead it one, once more. Now it's all smooth. So this was about four pounds of uh, flour. I'm gonna divide it into two portions. Okay, I'm gonna cut it into half. Make it two portions. One I'll make a meatless scallion pancake. One I'll make a meat with meat. Let's do the traditional one first. See the consistency? It's not too not too soft, not too firm either.
and using a big rolling pin, roll it into a big, huge pancake. About an eighth of an inch in thickness. About an eighth of an inch thick. Okay, the next thing I'll smear Crisco. My mom always used the pork lard. lard. But this is probably healthier. Okay, now we have smeared with uh, Crisco oil. You can probably use olive oil, but I use Crisco oil. And put salt on it. Don't be... Yeah. Don't be afraid, afraid to put a good amount of salt on it. If it's under salt, it won't taste good. Okay, that should be about right. Okay. After you solve it, then you put the... Last time I made this, my wife complained that there's not enough scallion, so I'm going to use a lot this time. Distribute it evenly. Uh, beginning from the edge, you start rolling it. Roll it into a big log. Okay. Okay, roll it into a big log like this. The next thing you do The next thing you do you squeeze it. Not cutting it, squeeze it. So you seal the edges into lumps about like this size. You squeeze it so the ends doesn't that, that don't leak. Each one of these will become a pancake. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the next thing you do is take one of these end to end. You you squash them. 
from end to end like this with a little in your in in the palm of your hand with a little twisting motion like this end to end twist a little bit squash it like this so each will be kind of one pancake put some dry flour on them and flatten one and roll it into a quarter inch pancakes quarter inch be careful not to rupture it And I got some uh, pre-cut uh, wax paper, wax paper here, put some flour on it, put it on a stick, and then uh, and the next one on top of that, make the next one. Flatten with your palm. Sometimes it will rupture a little bit, that's okay. Don't make it too thin. Quarter inch is perfect. Then you can you can cook them right now or you can freeze it. They'll freeze very well. Stack them. Then you can freeze them in the freezer. So we got five pancakes here. I'll put it in the freezer. Put it in the freezing freeze time. Okay. Okay, now on to the second batch with the meat. Same thing. Just uh, roll this into a big pancake. Okay, now I have spread the evenly with crystal oil. The next step is to add salt, just like the other one. And the next thing is to add uh, meat. Spread the meat. This is a meat lover's variety of scallion pancakes. Now this one is not in the traditional Chinese menu. I just invented this one myself. Okay, and then last thing, add the scallion. Okay, finally, we'll start rolling it. Rolling it from the, the longest lengthwise. Rolling into a big log. Mm. 
big log to up the ends. Okay, start squeezing into segments. Okay, now start end to end, put it in, in your palm, between your palms, and squeeze like that. Squash it, and then. Roll it into a pancake. Okay, heat up a skillet, put a little oil on it. Pan fry until golden brown. Right? You can, when you're frying it, you can slam it. When you slam it, you separate the layers. Only if there's smell vision. You guys won't believe how good it smells. This one's almost done, about done. Then you go like that. Cutting it. The Chinese cut into four pieces, but I'm going to cut into six pieces. See the layers? Ooh, ah. See the layers? Chinese scallion pancakes. <laughs>